You know, I've got to hand it to Samsung. It's as if they get tired of leaks and take matters into their own hands. Because yes, the company just posted their first teaser for the next Galaxy Unpacked, and it looks pretty cool. If you're wondering when periscopic zoom lenses are coming to iPhones, we've got somewhat of a date. And if you've been asking yourself where the rest of the OnePlus 10 lineup is, uh, we have some information. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I don't need to remind you today's Friday. Just make sure you party responsibly and bring the car back with a tank full of gas. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today are coming later. For now, let's start with Google and AR headsets. As uh, Yes, we've been hearing a ton of reports on Apple's headset, but uh, now it looks like Google doesn't want to stay behind, even if they sort of already tried repeatedly. According to a new report from The Verge, Google's next AR headset won't be anything like Google Glass, and instead it would have augmenting incoming video from outward-facing cameras with various graphics. I know, it sounds weird already. We also hear that it will have different screens, just like the ones being developed by companies like Apple and Meta. Uh, apparently, it'll have its own battery and won't require a power input. It will be running Google's Tensor SoC, which Rick Osterloh said is the perfect foundation for making big improvements in AR. But uh, just like in the case of Cupertino, it looks like Google is also facing overheating issues. So Google will be using their cloud data centers to stream some video instead of rendering all of it on device. Finally, a report mentions that this headset will run on Android and that their target is to start shipping the device in, uh, well, 2024. Uh, I know, at this point, it's... We'll see. Now let's shift gears onto OnePlus and their cryptic release of the OnePlus 10 series. And uh, notice, I said series. Yes, the OnePlus 10 Pro has been out for some time now, but it's still only available in China. And we haven't heard anything about the rest of this lineup. Now we have a new report from Android Central with a high degree of confidence, uh, saying that the regular OnePlus 10 will be using Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 SoC, while the more affordable 10R will be powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 9000, which was actually rumored for the regular 10. And according to them, the difference is due to the availability of the regular 10, which will be sold globally while the 10R is always restricted for Asia. And, and of course, despite the change, there's not much of a performance gap here, considering that the Dimensity 9000 is not just the flagship SoC, but it has a more modern architecture. Sadly, there's uh, not much other information here other than the possibility that these phones are expected to arrive sometime in Q2, along with the global availability of the OnePlus 10 Pro. And with this release, I'm really just waiting for their leaked flagship killer because everything else is sort of weird. Let's move the spotlight onto Apple and the, the parties that they were very late to, even if that doesn't really matter in Cupertino terms. We know they've been reluctant to adopt things like periscopic zoom lenses, but it looks like it's finally happening, sort of. I mean, for those of you wondering when we're getting these, we have a new report from none other than Jeff Poo stating that Cupertino is testing prototypes and component samples of 5X telephoto lenses. But the reason we're covering this is because apparently the final decision of who will be the manufacturer is expected this May, and once the components are approved, they will be included in the high-end models, but of the 2023 iPhone lineup. Yes, this means that the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max will bring 5X periscopic lenses with optical performance, and don't be shocked that they say that they are the world's first at doing it. The report mentions that uh, Lante Optics might be the manufacturer, and that the expectations reach 100 million units being made just for Apple. And uh, we know Jeff Poo's information has been spotty lately, but it kind of goes along with the other reports we've heard from other trusted sources. So yeah, I'm just honestly curious as to why now when Oppo, who pretty much came up with this technology, is no longer using it. 
And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about Samsung and the Galaxy S22 series. Yes, for the past week, I've been saying that there's really nothing left to cover when it comes to leaks, but now the official news are starting to come out. Yesterday, Samsung posted the first teaser of their next Unpacked, with the title of the video being Break the Rules of What's Possible. The teaser shows two phones circling around each other in the ocean, and then they merge into a single phone. A single Single squared phone, might I add, and then it reads, are you ready to break the rules? And it ends with the Samsung logo. A new statement from TM Row mentions that they're about to rewrite the rules of the industry once again, and in that at their Galaxy Unpacked in February, they'll introduce the most noteworthy S series device uh, they've ever created, and that the next generation Galaxy S brings the greatest experience of their Samsung Galaxy into one ultimate device. So if there was any doubt that this was what we we're getting. Yes, Samsung's Galaxy Note is coming back and it'll be merging with the S series as the S21 Ultra. And by the way, you can already reserve your S22 with 50 bucks and extra credit in the first link in the description. We've gotten so many leaks of this beautiful design and the specifications that, I mean, for today's question, let us know. I mean, are you interested in the Galaxy S22 Ultra, particularly now that it's being merged with the Note? Because in my case, I am, but I love my Z Fold 3 and I can't stop repeating it because it's just true. I just, it's such a good phone, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me debate the obvious. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.